Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's a man. I want to kind of switch the gears a little bit. So I was um I be on your IG sometimes just looking. So you got our OnlyFans, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like like <laughs> like what made you decide to get an OnlyFans, bro? Man, my lifestyle, bro. I, I you know um, I got a good connection with women that 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 don't mind unwinding. You feel me? And then I got a fan base. I got an audience for it because people know I. They know my lifestyle, they know I deal with women in the entertainment business or whatever like that. So, me, I just go live and be videoing myself, getting some head or <laughs> anything. I'll be in the elevator with my shot or whatever the case may be, you know. I actually, in my demon time video, you can go, you know, when people go see my video, I got some shit going on in my video, exclusive shit, not the same old usual shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the only fans is just a, it's an outlet for me because people know that I'm really that type of person, so it's believable. So we're gonna see what else he got going on. You know what I'm saying? But uh, on another kick, it's marketing for me. True. Uh, my Demon Time project is not just sexual based, but by Demon Time being the topic like unwind, do what you want, naked, nudity, or whatever like that. Mm -hmm. So I utilize my only fans for it. You know, I might shoot a video that's real explicit. Yeah. It can't go on YouTube, but it can go on OnlyFans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, and then, then not only would I get streaming, but I would get subscribers and all of that. Yeah. But it's a, that's my alter ego. Mm. Yeah. So, so, I mean, so like, what was, what made you decide to say, I'm gonna name this project Demon Time? Um. Well, when I started working on my project, um, it didn't. I didn't know what I wanted to name my project. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, I started working on it in December 2019. And then as I got to like March, yeah, you know, the Demon Time thing started coming up. Like, man, Demon Time, Demon Time. And then um, I think I think I seen somebody post something. Yeah. And it was naked or it was like some nasty shit or something like that. Now, I liked it. I said, Demon Time, that's what I'm gonna name my album because I also wanted to put some sex music on my tape. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to put, I got a song called Dangerous I had done. You know, I had did a song called Dangerous and that be, it, it's nasty. I'm talking about eating pussy and everything. Like talk, talk to us. So, uh, I had did the video in Vegas and then, uh, I knew it was that was it, but like I said, I started naming the Demon Time in, in like March, but June, July, yeah, I really knew. I said Demon Time, that's it, mm -hmm. that's gonna be it because I, I experienced some things, you know, and it started trending too. Like yeah. a lot of people started saying it, um, and then I heard Mitchie say it in one of his songs, and I just I just felt like it fit the music I was making. Okay. Now, NBA meet you, man. Um, I like what he got going on. Yeah. He a different looking type of dude, too. Uh, I don't know what they call him, but he a, he just, because he got red hair and uh, all that stuff. Purpose, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, how's your relationship with him? Man, we good, bro. I just talked to him. Um, when well, last night I talked to him, but me and him met in jail. And um, when he came, he came in jail. I was already in jail. And uh, I think I was working out or something. And then, man, um, he was sitting at the table. I just went talk to him. We just started talking or whatever like that. And uh, I think it was like a day or two. And me and him communicated or whatever. And then he ended up leaving, getting shipped. And then when I got out of jail, she, he reached out. Mm. Yeah, when he seen I was out, he reached out. And we've been tight. I done been on the road with him. Like we went to Atlanta a few times. Yeah. We went to Florida, you know what I'm saying, doing shows. He like how I carry myself with him. I don't try to do the most. And you know I, I, you know I got his back as well as he got mine. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, and like he used to be like, man, why don't you come go with, go ride with us and go out of town and be around us and shit like that. And at first I used to be like, man, I gotta have my paper right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like, he respect me for that, cause a lot of people would love to hang around him all day, and I would too. 
but it's like if you ever get into a situation, I need to be able to be in position to be able to handle it, help you, or have your back. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know what might happen, you know? So I have to be in a comfortable enough position to say, if you need me, I got you. Yeah, and he respect me for that, you know what I'm saying? I don't be around him talking about, oh, I'll do this for you and I'll do that for you. You know, he always, I ask a question, random, random questions, he'll be like, shit, what you here for? Or he'll just ask his friend, like, what, what you here for? Do you know your role in this situation or whatever like that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I always tell him, I'm here to make sure everything go right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not, not being your manager, but, <laughs> Fill in the blanks, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when you need something handled that you can't put your hand on right then and there, I can handle it for you, you know? And we just be vibing, bro. He called me twin, like y'all hear him say twin a, a, a lot. He be talking about me, you know mm. what I'm saying? That's what's up. Yeah, nah. but we both got fuckers, and along the course of us communicating, you know, it's like we might be related in real life, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, like I told, we talked to his mama one day, and she was, we was putting the dots together. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of we family tied, bro. Yeah. 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 Straight up. Now, I don't. I mean, you want to speak about it, you can, but um, man, Louisiana has one of the highest incarceration rates, right? Yeah. You just mentioned that you went in jail. Yeah. Like, like, can you reveal, like, like, what did you go to jail for? How long you was in there? What did you <coughs> learn while you was in there? First, I'm gonna say the system don't work for us. Yeah. Um, I went to I went to jail for. Uh, probation violation. Um, I ended up at catching a, a charge, a drug charge, and then I ended up getting like a, a pandering charge, which is like pimping. Yeah. And um, which it got dismissed. But I was sitting in jail for like five months with a hold on me until I go to court and, and or until one of the charges got dropped or dismissed, you know? And uh, it's like, the lawyer wasn't communicating with the probation officer. The probation officer wasn't communicating with nobody, you know what I'm saying? It's like the system gains financial income off of incarceration. That's one of the reasons why the incarceration rate is so high in Louisiana, mm. you know? Um, but, I mean, like I sat in there like five and a half months, and then the panel charge got dropped. I was supposed to get out right then, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, the communication with my probation officer and my lawyer wasn't there. So I ended up sitting in there like another month and then I ended up getting my hole lifted. So <clears throat> when I got my hole lifted, I had to go, I knew I had to go back to, to jail. But it was only supposed to be for like a couple of days. And um, I went, I went, I got out, I stayed out a month. Yeah. And then I ended up taking a deal on the drug charge and copping out the probation. So by that, that made me violate the other probation I was on. It's mm -hmm. crazy. So <clears throat> I had to go back and I stayed in there like a month and a half, almost two months, yeah. until they calculated my time. And then I got back out. But it's, it's really like, I would if they would have communicated, I wouldn't have to sit in there that long. You know what I'm saying? But. They want to keep us in jail. They want to keep us confined. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they go home every night. They don't really care. You know what I'm saying? Figure it out. 